Jacob Veins. Today I've got a very small haul for you. It's a high street haul. So not a huge amount to show you, but I did get some really nice things. Everything's super drug but one item. Okay, so we'll start with the thing that I got from Itla Masca. If you are registered on their website and you've made more than three purchases, everything you purchase after that, other than the odd little gift set or little offer where they do like say two lipsticks together for a certain price, you can get 10% off everything. And then at Valentine's Day I was sent a code to get another 20% off. So I took advantage of that and I purchased an eyeshadow. Now this is an eyeshadow that Nikki from Nikki Tutorials uses and she uses it as a contour and I love how it looks on her, it looks amazing. So I thought I'd invest in this too. So this is an eyeshadow called Heroin. As you can see, it's just a really beautiful, very light sort of taupey brown colour. That's what it looks like. It's not like a super dark colour, which is what makes it perfect for pale girls to contour with. Um, particularly if you're a little bit shy of contouring, you don't want to go in with a very dark bronzer and then end up with like big stripes, because believe me, I've tried to contour and sometimes it doesn't go right if I use something that's a little too dark. So that's actually quite nice and pale and it just makes it more buildable. I don't actually have it on today, I have Dainty Doll Blusher on today as a contour, um, which is a very similar colour actually. So it's really good for us pale girls, so I picked that up and it was around £10, I can't remember the exact price. And I have actually been using that with the Real Techniques Kabuki. This is the Kabuki brush, the original one that flattens out. And it's absolutely perfect to do that contour because it gets that perfect line that's not too thick. But also this bristle's nice and soft and it just kind of blends the edges of it out, so that's a fantastic tool to use with it. And then the next things are from Superdrug. Now, um, three things were in a three for two. I had to send one back because inside the packaging it had burst open and it had got on the other things but I was able to wipe it off because there's nothing here that could be ruined by a bit of... It, what it was was the Illumi Magic by L'Oreal but it's actually like the Illuminator and it just got everywhere but um, they have asked me to return that to them and they're going to refund me for that even though I got it in a three for two they're still going to refund me the full price because it was damaged so that's very good. So I got three things in the L'Oreal 3 for 2. I got the new Infallible Foundation. Now I used to wear it in the old bottle. It's a long time since I purchased Infallible, but I did used to like it. It's just that I found Lumi Magique. I really love that. I really love the 24 Hour Superstay by Maybelline. So I kind of found some different things that really worked for me. Um, but I do love Infallible, so I did pick up another one of these. I don't think I've done a haul with this in. But I got mine in, I think I got it in porcelain, let me check. Yes, so I got mine in porcelain. Vanilla was a little too much of a yellow shade for me and I don't have that in my skin. Um, I'm more of a pinky peach tone skin. So the vanilla was slightly not the right colour for me, it was a little yellow toned. Um, but the porcelain is a really perfect colour for me, it's really really pale. So I love the packaging. I like the red lid, it adds that little bit of flash of colour, it just looks very different. Um, but the packaging is very different. I felt like, I feel like this is a much more modern sort of looking bottle. Looks really nice and really quite classy. Looks really great without the lid and then it's got this really big black lid with a pump on. And that is what it looks like. I've <laughs> put that on top of heroin. I will move it over to um, put it in. That is what porcelain looks like. And then I'm going to blend it out. So it is very pale, it is the palest colour they do and I'm very pale so it actually really goes well on my skin. As you can see it's just totally disappeared in my skin tone. Um, I have tried it on my face as well, it does go really well. It feels really creamy but it's quite a nice thick consistency as you can see when I first blob that on there. It's a nice thick sort of gel like consistency to it so it's not runny. You're not going to put it on your hand and have it running down your hand, it's going to sit there quite nicely. Which is very much like the new sort of Maybelline which is the Dream Skin. That's got a nice thick gel like consistency and those are the foundations I tend to like the most. Has a little bit of a smell, but nothing really. It just smells like a moisturiser that I used to use. It's got quite a fresh smell to it. So that is the L'Oreal Infallible. I haven't got it out yet, although I have literally just finished a foundation and put it in the empties. So I might stick this in the drawer now, but I'm quite enjoying using the Maybelline Dream Skin. So um, we'll see. I might put that in the drawer. Then the other thing that I got was one of the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Lip Colours because this colour just really spoke to me. It's a really beautiful red and they're a little different than they used to be. They used to be like a lipstick but this is more of a gloss and that is the applicator. That is the colour. 
So it is incredibly intense. It's a very bright fire engine red. That's what I would say it was. It's really gorgeous. But what you do is you put this end on. Now I've used this and found that I needed to do two or three coats to get it really nice and opaque. Because when you get it on your lips and start to work it around with the applicator, it does thin out some. Um, but a couple of layers of this and you're fine. And it doesn't feel thick. You don't feel like you've got a massive cakey like mess on your lips. And then the other end is the balm. So what you do after you put that on, you can feel that it is literally quite sticky on the lips after you've applied it. Um, you leave it to dry and then you put the balm over the top and it just moisturises and it feels really nice. Um, just kind of softens and everything and it stops your lips from feeling sticky. So yeah, that's a really, really nice product. I just love the colour so I thought I'd give that a go. And both of those were 9 99 and obviously in the three for two I got the other thing free. But I'm going to get refunded for that so it's kind of buy one, get one free. Um... And then going red crazy, because I am crazy about red lips at the moment, I wanted to try this new product from Gosh, and this is called a lip lacquer. And <coughs> I'm losing my voice. It comes in a nail varnish type container, and it's called Hot Lips. It actually has a proper little applicator, not like a brush like a nail varnish. Um, the pigmentation is not great on this, so it's not like really opaque or anything. It has a sweet smell, quite a candy sort of smell, but that's what it looks like there. So this is something that I'd use. It says it's like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. I would definitely say it's not that because it totally lacks the pigmentation for that. But if you just quite wanted quite a nice sort of red glossiness on your lips, I think it'd be quite nice for that. However, if you were looking for something with more colour and more opaci opacity, opacity? <laughs> I can't speak. If you were looking for something more opaque with more colour, you're definitely better with something like the um, Infallible. Um, but this doesn't have a great amount of pigmentation. It does smell nice and it is a very pretty colour, I have to say, even though it's not massively pigmented. And I do love the concept of it being in like a little nail varnish bottle, which is quite cute. But um, yeah, it's, it's not fabulous, but I'll definitely give it a go. I think it's something that I'd rather put over a lipstick as a gloss rather than use it as a lip product on its own. And the other thing I got is also from Gosh. Now I got this because it was in the sale and it was $3.99 and this is a lip gloss. So this is the Gosh Intense Lip Colour in red. These are the ones that actually light up and I'll try not to blind you. So it lights up and then there's a mirror on the side so if you're out and about you can light up your lips and see what you're doing um, if you're out clubbing or anything like that. There we go. Um, and it's just got quite a nice little applicator on there. It's a really beautiful colour. And that's it there. As you can see, that's a darker red than this one. This is really bright red. That's a little darker. So if you were looking for something, um, more, I think it's probably more wearable than this one. This is really bright red, but I loved wearing this the other day. I did quite a simple eye with a flicked eyeliner and then the bright red lip and I thought it looked really good. Um, but I love this colour as well. This is just a really quite nice intense sort of darker red. Yeah, and that smells nice as well. So, And I love the concept of the packaging with the light and the mirror and everything. Really, really pretty. So that was my little splurge on red lip products, although there is something red coming up here as well. Then on a different day, I picked up three more of the Revlon balms. So I picked up another one of the matte balms that I'd kind of seen on YouTube and thought looked really pretty. And this one is in Elusive, which is just a really nice pink. So that's what that one looks like there. Really, really pretty. Lovely colour. Um, as I said, it's one of the matte ones. They don't come off as a true flat type of matte. They actually have a little sheen to them, so a little bit more satin. But I think that the colour of this is really pretty, and I've actually worn this one. So that one is elusive. It's something a little different from me, because the ones I've usually gone for have been quite dark, quite bright. And then I actually picked up two of the um, lacquer balms, which I wasn't going to, but I really like them. So I think this one's vivacious. So this one is the pink one. It's coming up a little red tone there. I don't know if the soft box might help. And um, that is what it looks like. And this actually has a lot of colour and I thought they were just going to be more glossy and not have a great colour payoff. But that one is vivacious or vivacious. And it's just a really nice bright pink colour. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I think it's really pretty. And then the other one I got was Provocateur, which is the red one. And as you can see, this is definitely a true red. And I have worn this one, and I love this one. That's it there. 
If you want to wear a red lip but you're a little scared of going for something like really intense then this is something that is really good for you because although it is a beautiful red it's not super super intense red it just looks really I want to say natural because how can a red lip look like natural but it just looks softer it's a softer approach to red but it's really really lovely so yeah I think this is quite a nice little wearable red Show them side by side. Oh, you can definitely see the colour difference there now. I definitely want to get whimsical. I'll have to keep my eyes open for that before the offer goes off. But like I said, they, they just didn't have that at the time that I was there. But that's it. Those are my lip colours that I got. They're gorgeous. As you can see, I'm all at my bright colours, my dark colours, my reds. Those are the main thing that I wear. I used to go absolutely mad for nudes. I still do wear nudes every now and then. And I really love this lilac colour. Um, but I'm more into sort of brights darks of bambi colours right now so yeah that's definitely what I'm into I keep repeating myself so that's it that's my little haul so, not very exciting really hey oh well <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it anyway there's not a great deal there quite a lot of lip products but I'm really enjoying my lip products at the moment so if you do like it then please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'm gonna love and leave you and see you all soon bye Hi fellow makeup fiends, so I've got a very small itchy nose. <laughs> so if you've made more than three purchases from the element, did that come out right?